So here it is guys, this is pretty much all the kit that you need to do this mod. There's so many things you can do differently, but this is just how I'm doing mine. And you can then decide how you want to do yours. Let's run through the parts. First of all, what you're going to need is as follows. This is a Vostok. This is an Amphibia. And what you're going to take out of this is effectively the movement. That is the heart of the beautiful beast. And that is going to get transferred into this custom case got from VostokMods.com. They got in touch with me and said, I'd love for you to do a video. And I said, so would I. And you're going to get to see these awesome upgrades and why they have bothered to go to the effort of designing, developing this specific kind of case for you to transfer for the heart of your watch into it. You see all that. It's so cool. I was so excited to get all these bits, which are as follows. Bought from Namoki Mods. This bezel. This is meant for an SKX007. I went for the brushed finish and the nice chunky machining on there. And that's because I know I could get, I bought this from a chap off eBay, uh, 15 pounds, a little bit more than I would normally spend. But again, it's an all brushed finish with a nice chunky edge to it. And would you not agree, it matches very nicely. And they're both brushed. And the other thing that's brushed is the case back, which is the other part of the watch, the original transplant piece you'll keep, which is uh, the case back and the gasket in there. And that's what you're going to keep as well. I bought this from one second closer. And the reason why I chose this bezel in is I feel it keeps the essence of Vostok with the black and the red and it being a bit, bit sort of retro in its design. And it's a satin finish to match the satin effect of the brush bezel. You kind of get in the theme I'm going with here. Now, this is the main piece in question. The upgrades that you get with this kit is everything you see here. It comes with the longer stem that you would need and crown. And the two benefits of this offers, first of all, it's a bead blaster finish, beautifully machined, very nicely done. Comes with this click bezel spring, which is identical to what you get in the Seiko SKX. SKX bezel, which actually clicks, a unique feature you don't normally get on a Vostok. You normally have this friction bezel. It's not always great. It's just sloppy and moves about a bit and it's just a bit gritty sometimes. It's not actually very nice to use. I know it's a characteristic of Vostok, but I prefer to have something that's a bit better. And this has acrylic, which is great for water resistance. It's flexible, but it does scratch so easily and makes the watch look very scruffy. This has sapphire. Lastly, for your strap upgrades, come to see me off the cuff. I've got linked to my eBay store in the description. This is the Pioneer. I've chosen this one to go with this watch. And you'll see why when the watch is done, why I've chosen it. Let's get on with the mod. First thing we need to do is get the movement out of here. So what you do is you get your case pack removal tool. Links to all these items will be in the description. Easy to find, easy to use. This is adjustable. It's been set up already. So you unscrew this Vostok case back. It's got a unique design. It's got this outer ring, which you undo first. And once it's undone, you then remove the uh, other part of the case back. It's pretty straightforward. So you see this bit comes out first. Then this piece will just move out, uh, pull out. And again, we're keeping that. This is a good opportunity if it's been on a watch for a while to give it a clean. We're also going to keep the rubber gasket, which is in here. So I'll gently pluck that out. Now to remove the crown, really easy on the Vostok. All you do is you have a little pin hole just here. Press it. The crown, you as you unscrew it, and then you just pull it. And that's releasing it so you can pull out really easily. That's it. Now we can turn this movement out. You can put it on a bit of plastic, but I've, I've already got one of these cushions, which are only a few pounds off of eBay. That's ready for a transplant. So we put this out of the way. That's my old case, etc. Good opportunity now to just give this a puff and a clean because when you're putting it in a new case, you want everything to be dust free. So now's an opportunity. If any dust has got on there to give it a puff, anything really stuck on there, you can use this Bergeon Rodico, which is for cleaning and picking up debris. It's like blue tack, but it's not. It's very similar. Now this is the crown it comes with. But as I said earlier, I'm using my own one I found. And this crown, be wary, it comes with a very tiny little gasket with the kit. And I'll show that to you. This little seal, sorry, not a gasket. And I've transplanted it onto the new crown already. You see that little black rubber ring there that slid onto this? That's to give added water resistance. And guess what? This has been tested to be waterproof still to 350 meters. For the average human being, if you're ever going to go diving, this mod kit is still going to give you all the water resistance you're ever going to need. Is now place this literally over the top, turn it over. The fitment is actually fantastic. And obviously the click spring's fallen out. I'll put that back in in a minute. Anyway, that fits perfectly. There's absolutely no play in there. Really good fit, beautifully machined. 
I'll just get that started in there. Again, same in reverse, push the pin in there. And now we're just gonna check, see it's not pulled out. We can screw that back in, put the gasket back in. Puff, just to be sure, I'll pop that in. Then we can put this back in uh, here. Get it started by hand. It's good to wear gloves when doing all this kind of work. Do it tight, but not too tight. And that's that. Now we're at a stage where we can put the bezel in. Well, you know, this is gonna go in. You see these little raised parts here, they're like pins. It's different to on this side, these little springy bits that stick up, they are the bits that ratchet into the underside of your bezel. You see there's all the little notches, which is what those little springs click into. That's how you get a ratcheting bezel. Now, good practice is actually to put a bit of silicone grease just on that tip there and that tip there where it's running on the inside of the bezel. I use silicone grease. There's a huge bit of it here, but it's silicone grease. It's the correct, appropriate grease. I'm going to get a tiny bit on this glove on my fingertip here. Dab it on there. Same on there. And then I could, just to be extra thorough, is just rub a bit on this in here like that. Extra lubrication is always good. Now, this should hopefully just push fit. So you just rest over the top and give it a wiggle so it lines up with the clickers. Then hopefully I should just be able to push this down and it clicks in. Which he did. Let's see if it's seated in. Evenly round. Very good. Look at that nice dome. Still got the gorgeous dome. Now this is the moment of truth. Does it have a nice ratchet bezel feel? Yes, it does. Feels very similar to a Seiko SKX. It's time to get this bezel insert in. So I'm just going to carefully peel this tape off. So I'll just use my pin just to carefully pick this tape off. I put this in beforehand. Uh, it's really straightforward. Come, the inserts come with these anyway. The, what I bought from one second closer. It comes with a spare as well. Now this is an important thing. is getting the bezel to line up. So what I want to do is just make sure it's not halfway through a click or anything like that. So it's perfect positioning. It's ready for me to drop this in. So I'm going to have to be concentrating now and line this up aim for that loom pip at the 12 o'clock sort of put put it in that way first and then push it down the rest of the way like that that's how i've seen them do it in the factory so this is how i'm going to do it so i've gently rested that i'm just going to double check it it's lining up which it is and then i'm just going to push that down now let's check when we turn it it doesn't interfere oh, happy days oh a vostok with a clicking Rotating bezel, 120 click. What do you think? Have I got that spot on? Yes. Finishing touches, guys. And that is, I'll put it on the strap and then you can see it in all its glory. There it is. Check this out. What a fabulous mod for this watch. Still got the essence of Vostok. Classic dial with the scuba dude, the teal. You've got the red second sand and got the red matching in the bezel insert. All the metal is either bead blasted or satin don't like the bling you can often get with Vostok. So this really softens it down. It looks like a Vostok still because we've got the, the 090, very traditional case shape. Lovely, very comfortable design. As you see, just really nice taper immediately with the little lugs. Stubby hidden lugs you get there. And 22 mil lug width. And I went for the Pioneer because it's got a chunkiness to it. So I put a thin strap on it and it almost looked like the watch was floating on my wrist. But I wanted the chunkier strap. So it just helped balance out the, the aesthetics. And I went for black as well with this textured design to go with the chunkiness you get here. The black there. I'm so happy with that. Recap on prices. Straps only £15 from me. $124 for the mod kit from VostokMods.com. This is about £30 for the bezel. Uh, this was £15 for the crown and the bezel insert here from one second closer is only about $14. So if you've already got a Vostok, you don't have to spend too much to totally transform it into a proper beast with some significant upgrades. Really brings it up to scratch for modern standards. Beautiful.